It's fine. I don't mind being the butt of jokes. I also like being appreciated, and I don't spend money on myself enough. Well, I appreciate you for your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me and this guy and the bourbon that makes it sound better. Whiskey. Whiskey makes it sound better. You have not even had one yet. What is going on? This is our fourth attempt. I'm Sean, this is Josh, and this got no idea, but it's something Irish. It's March. Tis the season, don't you know? Yes, and it's been strategically placed for... Camera B. <laughs> Alright, I'll move it. It's crinkle, crinkle, crinkle for the earbud, earphone users. He doesn't know what it is, uh, but yeah, it's coming up on St. Patty's Day. This episode will not be the St. Patrick's Day episode, that's a different one, but I uh, thought, hey, why not welcome him back? This is our first episode after you came back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome back, buddy. Um, by the way, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Appreciate it. We're coming up on uh, 200 subscribers. And I'll do something special for that. Also, Patreon uh, patrons, we have a podcast that is patron only called Two Brains, One Bottle. And uh, we'll be, that'll be the bottle. And those will be the brains. <laughs> These will be the brains. Yes. So <clears throat> hold out your hands and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. Uh, I hate this game. All right. People played it with me when I was little. Ooh, tealing. Have you had it? Oh, shit. Have you had that? Tealing, tealing, tealing. This is Tealing Whiskey Small Batch Irish Whiskey. Uh, I, I, like, I like the word small batch, especially after the uh, Frey Ranch, where that was, we had batch number one, and it was amazing. Um, it's uh, 40 bucks a total wine, and I just wanted something... Kind of in keeping with St. Patrick's Irish whiskey thing, but also something new and interesting looking. I like the labeling. So, what you think? I'm intrigued. Yay! I'm intrigued. I don't think I've ever had it. Awesome. So there you go. I don't know why I was going to pick that up. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm grabbing. While he's doing that, here's my copita. I want to thank you guys for uh, subscribing and commenting and liking and sharing and all that stuff. Uh, we're both online other places as well. Here's our addresses, our names rather. So it says a rum cast finish. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh, interesting. It, have you tried Teeling Small Batch or any of their other whiskeys? This one, like I said, is about 40 bucks. There are more expensive versions that were, I, I can't remember off the top of my head what they were called, but the price like doubled and then again. I was like, oh, you're you're the fancy stuff. I will not be buying you today. We got a wood cork. Looks like, no, is that something? No, that's wood. That's wood. What's with the cuts? On the end. Is that a thing? No idea. There's these weird cuts. All right, cool. Welcome back, sir. It's good to be back. And uh, shall I? Yeah. Okay. Who would like to lead today's ceremony? You. Yeah, something stuck to your glass. It's my hand. Oh. Good. Couldn't see it. Sorry. Bit of a. Hmm. May every day that you live be better than your enemy's best day. Okay. I have no idea why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh, geez, I'm scared now. <laughs> okay. A little terrified. <laughs> it's like instead of saying, I hope this whiskey is nicer than your toast was. <laughs> Oh, geez, they're still terrible. 
No, they're just thicker, heavier oh, okay. glasses. All right. Ooh. That's <clears throat> um, Honeysuckle? It's a very pretty uh, Irish whiskey. Like, this is definitely an Irish whiskey when I think of Irish whiskey. It's nice and floral. <clears throat> there's some honeysuckle. Yeah. There's yep. some lilac. There's just... We've been having just bourbons lately. So this is a nice break. Um, oh, I get, like, champagne notes. Yeah. Um, or, or at least sparkling cider of some sort. But, yeah. Um, not getting too many baking spices. That's what it reminds me of, is apple juice... But different, like like weird. What's it say? Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like if my mom would cut her fucking Chardonnay with, <laughs> <laughs> with apple juice. Nice. To make it sweeter. Oh. Mm. Uh, this is like if, 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 Oh man, this is gonna be a real personal notes kind of episode. It's like kids' juice box that's been left in. I'm coming off men. a really good deep therapy session. Like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting episode, folks. Awesome. All right. Oh, okay. Going Going in. In. Blueberries too. A really mm. fresh, fresh blueberries. Just that hit me in the nose. Ooh. Okay. It's bright. Definitely oily. Um, it's stronger than I expected. What's the alcohol on this? Forty six. How much? Forty six. Forty six percent. 92 proof. Does it taste higher proof to you? It's higher than 40. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, oh that's... Oh, it's good, right? Two for two, baby! Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> so I get a lot of brown sugar bourbon notes mm -hmm. from, the, like, bourbon, like, sweet. Right. I definitely get the rum cask. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a rounded sweet. It's a mature sweet. I keep seeing uh, coconuts in my head, so I'm gonna go with coconut. Coconut milk or flesh? Like shaved. Okay, so flesh, yeah. Yeah, flesh. Flesh. I still, I, I've eaten a lot of vegetables in my day. <laughs> a lot of vegetables. I've eaten more, you know those people that say that they eat, you know, a steak for every vegan there is on a planet? I eat that in salads, folks. <laughs> And when he, when I walked in here today, he was eating a salad with a buttload of croutons. Oh my goodness! This is That's lovely. Just, I keep going back to the nose, like yeah. fruit cocktail. The syrup, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just that, and just it, un, unfortunately, if I have to took, say the words. Go on. This whiskey reminds me of my childhood. It's not a bad thing. I mean. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> you didn't have to say the words. I uh, Okay, fair enough. This does not remind me of my childhood because my childhood... This has nostalgia written all over. Nostalgia. <laughs> this this is not my childhood. Of course, my childhood is 18 years older than his, so... Hmm. Oh. Yep, I, I just got a different note there. Uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Citrus, orange peel. Yeah. Orange peel, lemon zest. Is it, wait, is it orange peel? Lemon zest. Lemon zest, yeah. And I'm definitely leaning more towards blood orange, but I, I don't can see, orange. I could see, I could see like a sun kissed navel orange. This is such a departure from the last three things we've done. Whether they were like sickeningly sweet or. I also get like a banana and cherry note. I don't get the banana, but I'm definitely getting the cherry. I was going to say, the fruit, the cherry you get in a fruit cocktail. Oh, you know what I would want to do with that? What? An old fashioned. I'd probably actually like an old fashioned. Oh, have you had a sidecar? No, I haven't either. I'm not really big on. I'm not really big on. We should do an episode cocktails. where we just have whiskey cocktails, and we go with some like middle of the road kind of whiskey. Like if you went to a bar and said, "Give me an old fashioned. What's the whiskey that we no, use?" No, I'd rather have. So where where we fucked up was there's an app called Distiller, and on Distiller you can rate and review all of the different spirits that you consume. 
and where we messed up was we should have included a distiller review with all of this stuff and then linked to that. Damn. Well, well, you there know, you go, future Sean. To, to quote a last more set. You guys, you guys are seeing uh, evolution right before your eyes. That is what you get with us. Quality content around here. This is why you set up the ring light and we record it. I'm waiting to see what grows out of you with this evolution. <laughs> Is that uh, my shoulder? <laughs> uh, that's what I need. It's more back problems. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, marching band was hard on your body, kids. Yeah. I'm. Oh, it's the nose is so nice. It's approachable. Mm. It's floral. Yeah. But it's there's creaminess. There's. I haven't had an Irish whiskey this good in a long time. Mm. I had the the last really good one I had was the. Uh, it was a Tullamore Dew, but it was a. Totally a different finish. Um, oh, I think I remember the one you talked about, but I, I don't know what it's shit. called. Top my head. If you know, please comment. Damn it. I'll have to... Uh, my Google machine is recording everything, so I'm sorry. I'm not a Google machine. I wish I was eating bread pudding or something you get in an Irish restaurant. I, this just says, eat me with or drink me with food. I want this and berries and sugar. Yeah. And just pour this over it and just roll them around and so, then <clears throat> with a spoon. Not getting grains. Oh. That fray ranch like made me very right. aware of grains now. I'm not really getting grains with this. No, um, there's a, a creaminess that rides over the over, yeah. over the mid-palate. That's what that mouthfeel is. It's creaminess. I, was, mm -hmm. I thought it was oiliness, but yeah. it's not it's creaminess. No. Creaminess takes the mid-palate and then mm -hmm. it, it mutes a lot of those softer, weeder or weedy notes. Mm. There's, so, a, there's a menthol to it, too. But not like, unpleasant. No, it's... Not a menthol cigarette. <laughs> no, a menthol, like a like a, a mint. There's yeah. a mint to it. Mm. I have to say, I'm... It tastes like a cocktail. I'm quite proud that two times in a row I've made you happy. Lord knows I, I owe you for... <laughs> Quite a few of the uh, gauntlets we've had to run through. It's fine. I don't mind being the butt of jokes. I also like being appreciated, and I don't spend money on myself enough. Well, I appreciate you for your butt. <laughs> <laughs> DDP yoga. Branding. DDP yoga. How's that for a toast? Here's a, a toast to you. Nice butt. Clink. Right? <laughs> you, know, oh. you work hard. You just appreciate somebody noticing. Yep. Oh, man. It's like just this side of medicinal. Or just this side of... It's it's good. Um, shall we read the blurb? Is there a blurb? We just always blurb on these things. Non-chill, rum cast. Bottle 11. Every time, I've, every time I've taken a taste, mm -hmm. it has changed. Yes. And it's it's actively changing. Since 1782, the Teeling family have been crafting Irish whiskey. Now these were crafting. The Teelings are renowned for their vision. Bottle date. 11 2018. Yeah. Recent. Yep. Oh, before the before the dark, dark times. times. In the long ago. Um, the Teelings are renowned for their vision in doing things differently and their whiskeys. Spelled E Y S. Yeah, Ireland. Uh, Ireland has knee in it. You're right. Um, I know that's not the steadfast rule. It's just it's no, something but, that helps you No, but I mean, whiskey is, is I-E-S, isn't it? But you, yeah, if you're pluralizing. Well, should be. they're whiskeys. Okay. E-Y-S. Uh, embody this in entrepreneurial spirit. The small batch bottling consists of hand-selected casks, which are given a further six months maturation in X rum barrels, imparting an extra sweet and smooth flavor. Yes, it does. Unique to Irish whiskey. Is Irish whiskey usually finished in x row barrels? Hmm. Uh, I believe so. By bottling... Not exclusively, I don't think. I thought it was ex-bourbon barrels. Hmm. By, by bottling... That's what I thought. By bottling at 46% with no chill filtration, completes an Irish whiskey of true character, teeling whiskey. Dare to be different. If I'd read that first, I would have been, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's one of those. But no, this is well done. Uh, crafted by Jack Teeling. I mean, yeah. Dublin, Ireland. 
Yeah, that's just like fantastic. That's well done. Yeah, well done. Done well. <laughs> oh, you're finished. I better catch up. Mm. There is on the back end. There is a cigar leather note. Is that what I'm saying? I, when I said it was almost medicinal, that's not what I meant. There, no, there's definitely a tobacco note. And it's it's really fucking yeah. it's small. It's it's faint, but it's there. If cigars it's such a nice little If this is what cigars oh, smelled man. and tasted like, I would be a cigar smoker. Oh my but goodness. I know better. I love that note. This tastes like you know, it tastes like I've been drinking whiskey and I just kissed somebody who smokes a cigar. Mm. It's like the barest barest hint of that. Mm. That's nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, and, there it is. And then there's a raisin note. Yep. Uh, it definitely is, is developing as time goes by. Yeah, it's getting proofed down. The uh, the oxygen is getting mixed up. This and is subtle push. changes, though. Mm -hmm. I would almost, I would personally hate to put this on the rocks, because I feel like I would, it would mute. You miss the journey. Yeah. Yeah. Just like uh, the Frey Ranch we, we did. Um, I We loved it. Couldn't shut up about it. I don't think I've had an Irish I haven't loved. Yeah, that's true. Like, there's been, I think, once in my life, I did a flight, and the, the very beginning cheapest one, which I can't remember what it was, I was like, wow, oh, I know what it was. It was uh, something with the word honey in it. And you're just like, mmm, next! <laughs> uh, do you want to close out the episode, and then we can continue on I was gonna discussion ask you. with two brains in the bottle? Yes, and by the way, like I said, like this. Ah, sorry, folks, ahead. but if you want to continue listening in on this discussion, well, you're going to have to pay... Unlike have. this, two brains, one bottle is unfiltered, hey, unedited. That's, and that's non chill, Melton. That's non chill. We're just chill. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it, it's an audio podcast where we just go for about an hour, talk about whatever we want, answer questions from people. We've got uh, two questions, I believe, coming up. And also talk about weird news, whatever we, you know, whatever we want to talk about. If you like hearing our voices, but you can't stand our faces, two brains, one bottle is for you. You know what? I never actually told you uh, why. I'll, we'll get, we're going to get to that off camera. That's going to go behind the scenes a little bit. I think we've had a wonderful episode. I do. You got any uh, actual? We, I couldn't. I couldn't notes? rant and rave more. And I it. It, it is an oily whiskey. Granted. But it's such a nice long finish. Yeah, it's that it's, it's oh, go ahead. savorable. You can sit there and spend some time with it. It surprised me with the burn at the first at the beginning. The ethanol, yeah, and all. And, yeah, and, and and you know sometimes that overpowers everything. You you take the first pour. Remember that the first pour goes in your glass. Oh, I know. The highest ethanol contact goes well. in there. So mm. it's just yummy. Yeah, it's great. It, it, it makes me want to have something rich and decadent with it, mm -hmm. but... Which I think it's... It, ultimately, that should be the association that we have with this, is that it's a treat, and it goes along with a treat. And, mm -hmm. Oh, that's just remarkably well done. Yay, me. Good job, bud. Well, in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, or if you have any suggestions of whiskeys that you'd like us to t review, click up there. Leave a comment. Subscribe down there. You know the drill. Remember all, to all of our social media will be down below in the uh, comment section. What he said. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room Six. Okay. <laughs>